ever been so excited that you just can't sleep and you just keep getting all these ideas and everything and I feel like that's what happened to me last night. This morning I woke up at like four o'clock and I could not go back to sleep because I was so excited and it's like all these ideas just started coming to me and just it literally kept me awake and I was thinking about it when I actually woke up and I was like you know when you start doing things that you truly want to do it it makes you feel so excited that you can't sleep and then it's like all these ideas start coming through and everything changes where it's like normally when you have second guess about other things and if you're wondering if you're doing the right thing or not it's like with when you follow that instinct that was like hey maybe you should do this and you finally take that leap to do it it feels good and i think that's what i experienced last night and yeah it was it was something else because i know I've, I've done other things where i've been excited about doing them but it's like this has been something that i've wanted to do for a very long time in terms of doing a video every day and when i finally decided to do it i got so excited i <laughs> followed through with everything i uploaded the first video and got a very meaningful comment after i uploaded it and i was like oh thank you so thank you i can't really pronounce your username <laughs> but thank you for sharing your thoughts on my journey and what i'm deciding to to do with all of this because I feel like the more we do the things that we want to do we're gonna end up being happier and actually live the life that we we really want to live and I did say something yesterday in terms of I know if anything happens it's like I'm the one that's holding myself back where if I decide not to do something or if I decide to do something I'm making that choice whether other people have an influence in it or not I still decide to do that and when I decided to start videoing every day I didn't tell anybody I didn't tell anybody I just got up I got the idea and I did it and I know why I didn't tell anybody and it's not because most people will because all right here's the thing when people give you advice on what they think that you should be doing or when you ask for advice they're looking at it from what they would do not from what you would do so it's kind of pointless to ask people for their advice even though we all do it but when i look at it i'm like this is something that i want to do i go through all of the the pros and the cons and i know i like to take on things sometimes where it's just like maybe it's too much but at the same time i got so excited to do it and I knew that if this is something that I truly want to do, I'm not going to stop myself from doing it. And coming back to what I'm saying, getting out of your own way, and actually, I'm the one who controls where I want to go. And if I want to live a certain way, I have to start living that way now in order to attract that I I read um, something the other day where it was like you get what you are not what you want 
and days and days and days and days pass where I sit and I think of this. You get what you want, not what... You, no, you get what you are, not what you want. And... Of course, I went back and forth with it because I'm like, you know, most people don't get what they want. And then with the whole idea of manifestation and everything where it's like you have to be on that same frequency as other people, as not other people. Well, as other people to attract those type of people. Yes. But you have to be on the same frequency where if you want something, being on the same frequency, you will get it. But being on the same frequency means that you're already acting like you already have it. And it made the quote made sense for it's like, I don't think it's a quote. I think I um, kind of paraphrased it where it, it came out to sounding like a quote. But it's like if what you are... You get what you want. Here I go again. You get what you want. You get what you are, not what you want. And that made sense in terms of you have to be on the same frequency of what you want. So to make this make all sense and everything, because it can be a little confusing, especially if you don't know anything about this. To make that make sense, I tried to figure out what that meant for me. And it meant that if I want to be a creative person and spend my days creating and making things that I enjoy and just being submersed in my art then I have to do that I can't wait until inspiration hits somewhere in the far future or I can't wait until oh I got this great idea I just have to start where I am because if that's where I want to be I have to pretend like I'm where I want to be and then pretending actually gets you there and I think that's where that whole phrase came from where it's like fake it until you make it there is some truth behind it I mean nowadays it's like you don't want to fake anything because you want to be as authentic as possible and yes be authentic as possible don't try to be anybody else but yourself but if you want to be a better version of yourself start acting like that better version of yourself now and you will become that better version of yourself because you're doing the things that that better version of yourself is doing and when I think about it for me if I want to be an an artist 100% of the time if I want to be a filmmaker 100% of the time if I want to just draw and be creative 100% of the time I have to do that now and that's what that term ends up meaning for me where it's like you get what you are not what you want so I'm being what I want to be so I can get what I want so it's kind of it's kind of a, like a, a catch-22 where it's like what comes first the egg or the um, the chicken right but I think it all makes sense I really think it do I think I figured out what my issue was when it comes to starting doing this because as I've said before, I've wanted to do this for a very long time, but I just delayed it and listened to everybody else about, oh, how hard it's going to be and how, you know, hard it's going to be to keep up with it and it's going to be a burnout and everything. And it's just like, 
Yeah, but again, I plan on simplifying it. I plan on keeping it very simple. But I've, I figured out from a conversation I was having earlier, I figured out why it took me so long. Because when I get ideas, a, <laughs> I get ideas like a lot. But it's like one like this one that's happening right now. I will come up with the ideas and I'm like, all right, what steps would I go through in order to make this a reality? And I would think, okay, I would need, I would need the structure of the story. I need what I'm going to tell a story on. I would need, oh, what are the shots going to look like and everything. And I, I add these extra steps in front of what I actually want to do and not understanding that those extra steps that I'm adding, thinking I'm refining this thing in order to make it more me, is I'm adding barriers to what I actually want to do because those extra steps are not something that I would normally do on a daily basis. And when I realize this, it's like, oh, wow. Because... How I found this out was, as I said, the conversation I was having earlier, um, my advice was asked, hey, what do you think I should do when it comes to doing such and such? Just pretend like, when it, when it comes to building a house, let's, let's go with that example. When it comes to building a house, what do you think I should do first? Do you think I should just um, go and like, write a plan about how I want to do it. And then later I go and get an architect to draw up this image that I have in my mind and then find a place. And it's like, one, writing about it, is that something you do every day? No. So why would you want to add a barrier to where it's like, okay, I have to get over this roadblock first in order to move on to the next step in order to move on to actually what I want to do and I realized that I've been doing this constantly and I was like wow this is kind of what's been holding me back because I have this idea and thanks YouTube but I watch a lot of YouTube videos and especially like Lily Singh and Casey Neistat, right? They have a specific style and they've been on YouTube like forever. And they have a specific style that they do. Like when I watch Lily videos, like her earlier videos, and she's like so much energy and everything. And I'm just like, I could never see myself doing that because I'm dry as hell. <laughs> like I will be animated at some points but the rest of the time is just it's flat it's flat i love my dryness i'm i can be i can be really interested in something and you can't tell because there's just like there's nothing that comes out and comes forward so if you don't know me you'll probably be like is she actually excited or is she pissed off and that's just me so I never saw myself in that realm where I'm like, hey, I could do that. But years go by me wanting to do these things. And I realized that that's them. Yes, they found a way to, I guess, hype up their audience and make their personality a lot bigger. But I don't have to do that. I'm animated sometimes, yes, but I don't have to be animated all the time and I don't have to do things how other people do it. I'm unique <laughs> and I do things completely weird sometimes. And that's just me. That's not somebody else that I'm emulating or anything. That's just me. And it's like, I look up to these people because they've been doing this for so long. And just seeing the careers that they've built out of one day just turning on the camera and being themselves, 
and learning how to tell stories and everything. And it's like, yeah, they did that. And I look at that and I'm just like, yeah, I know I can do that. And at the end of the day, it's like, so what's stopping you? Me. <laughs> it's like that realization that, yeah, I have been stopping myself. And I know, again, I know I push myself really hard. Like some, sometimes the amount of pressure that I put, my, put on myself caused me to burn out really bad. But at the same time, I know how to take it easy. I know how to relax. And I, I know how to draw back from doing too much. And I feel like that's, that's something we all have to learn. We all have to learn that because if we keep going at a million percent, even though mathematically that don't make any sense, but we're not talking maths. If we keep going at a million percent, eventually we're going to burn out. We have to make time to rest and I make sure that I get enough rest. Wow. It's a crescent moon and it's like, the the sky it's it's very faint so if i try to catch it on camera i'm not gonna see it but it's so beautiful huh nature anyways what was i saying um yeah when you do things at a million percent and you keep try to keep that level all the time and you don't rest and you don't take care of your body you don't eat right and you just going full speed ahead you're gonna crash you're gonna crash and i have crashed way too many times to know better at the end of the day i know that if i want to live the life that i see my future self living then i have to do things now that is in line with that because how am i gonna get there if i don't know how to do that now and I think it's again it's so simple it's really simple because if I see myself doing all these creative things just be creative now so coming back to that quote you get what you are not what you want I feel like it is true be the person you want to be now be the person that you see yourself being in the future now. And that's something I have to solidify in my head and remind myself that I am that person that I see in the future right now. Because if I'm imagining that person, that person is remembering me right now. And it's all a mind warp. But at the end of the day, I control where I want to go. Oh